In this brief video, we're going to look at the history of telecommunications and some basics as well. Telecommunications involves the transfer of information over a distance. The information that we might want to send from one place to another could be speech, that is a voice signal, still pictures, an image, such as the one shown here of the three sisters in the Blue Mountains of New South Wales, or we might want to send moving pictures, what we call a video, or it could be text, or any other form of useful information, such as readings of temperature from a weather station. And we may want to send information a short distance, like a meter, or across the room, or across town, or to another city, another country, another continent, or maybe even right across the entire planet. Sometimes we may also get information from the very edge of our solar system. The model that we're going to be using for telecommunications in this video series is shown here. We put information in, it goes into an encoder, and then a transmitter which then uses a communication medium to send a signal which is received by the receiver and decoded. And we hope that the information that we get out is a very close representation of the information that we put in. But it's not always exactly perfect. The medium that we send the signal over the distance may be a wire, or a cable, an optic fiber, a waveguide, or it may just be free space, the air. If we look at the history of telecommunications, it actually started almost 1200 years before Christ. So if we compressed the last 2,000 years into one day at 9.40 a.m. on the day before the birth of Christ, then we had evidence of these torch telegraphs. Now this is actually a form of digital telecommunications system. So we had these torches burning and if you like a torch burning here could be a one and a torch not burning here could be a zero. So here we have one one zero 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 one 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 one. So this was uh, in operation over 3,000 years ago. And at 10.10pm 10, 10 on the day before Cross was born we had the Roman Empire using water telegraphs. At 1.50 a.m. we have the invention of Roman smoke telegraphs. Of course, the American Indians also used smoke signals. At 5.22 p.m. the printing press was invented. And this enabled the mass distribution of information across the world. At 9.30pm we had the invention of the CHAP telegraph, which was used extensively throughout Europe. Um, and in fact the CHAP telegraph was used in Sydney between what is now the centre of Sydney and the heads to signal the arrival of ships. At 9.40pm we had the electric telegraph, at 10.30 p.m. the telephone was invented. At 11.10 p.m., less than an hour before midnight, the television was invented. At 11.46 p.m. we had the IBM PC and computer networking invented. And just uh, 12 minutes before midnight we had the first mobile telephone 
as you can see here it wasn't exactly very mobile it was quite heavy and now at the present day midnight we have five billion mobile phones worldwide so I think you can appreciate from this timeline that a lot of advancements in telecommunications have actually been very recent however the concept of telecommunications has actually been around for a very very long time and some of the enabling technologies that have allowed modern telecommunications to evolve in 1800 roughly was when electricity was discovered 1878 telephone uh, exchange uh, and 21 lines only 21 lines was invented and vacuum tubes were also invented this allowed us to build circuits and in 1889 the automatic switch for telephone exchanges which is shown here at the bottom right was invented prior to this we actually had hundreds of operators manually switching telephone calls we can see in the diagram at the top here now if we actually continued the use of people for switching telephone calls we would actually need one half of the world's population today to switch all the telephone calls that we make if we were to still do that manually thankfully we don't need to do that You'll notice actually in this photograph at the top here that all the operators uh, in, the, in the telephone exchange were women. And this was actually the first time in history in Western society that women were employed in large numbers outside of wartime. So the invention of the telephone system actually led to very big social changes in the world in which we live. 1894 was the first radio transmission. 1917 amplitude modulation was invented. 1928 frequency modulation. 1947 modern semiconductor electronics were invented with the transistor. 1954 optic fibres, 1958 integrated circuits, which you can see here uh, in, this, in this photograph, and 1960 lasers. These were all very important enabling technologies that have led to the broad scale deployment of telecommunication systems in modern society today. We'll be talking more in other videos about amplitude modulation and frequency modulation and optic fibers and so on